Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Today I am working on a bunch of little Easter decorations here that I wanted to get to. It's coming up fast. It's only a few weeks away already. I thought I was way ahead of the game, but that's never the case. Um, just never enough time in a day. So I'm going to try to get these three here done. We're going to try to get through this pretty quick so this isn't too long. I want to turn this cute little bunny here that you get at Dollar Tree. They come in two pieces. I already messed around with some paint here that I want to try on this guy. Um, they come in two pieces, but you just pop it together, and I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue here on both sides just to keep him so he does not come apart. But I want to turn him into a big chocolate bunny. That is my thing that I want to do, and I'll tell you how I'm going to do that in a little bit. And then I'm going to take one of these wooden carrots from Dollar Tree. This actually had a jute hanger on here. I took that off to get started here on this, and it's just called decor, and it's just this big wooden carrot. So I want to get that done. And then I also have this bunny here, too, that is just has, you know, its little tail and stuff. I'm going to take all those off, and um, it has a little jute hanger, too, for this. So I thought these would be fun to do. So the first thing I want to get started doing here is this bunny, because this one's going to take me quite a while. And it won't be for you guys, because, you know, we'll just take a break here on the camera, and then I'll come back when I'm getting somewhere. But I did pop his top together there. Um to keep him in place a little bit. And I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue on each side of this guy, and I think that will hold him together just fine. So we're just going to put a little bit in there and then pop this guy back together, hopefully. There we go. And that should... Let me get that hot glue off there. That should keep him together. They're very light. But these come... You know, if you've seen these at Dollar Tree... Um, all this stuff is from Dollar Tree. I don't even know if I mentioned that. But these come um, together, you know, like it, you have to put them together yourself. They don't come together like this. So, get some of this hot glue off of here. Now i got too much in there, of course. But anyway, that is how I want to do that little bunny. We're going to glue him together. Now, he's really shiny. If you want to take some sandpaper or something and scuff him up a little bit, it um, would probably be the best idea. I didn't do that. I probably should have. But um, that's usually the best thing to get this paint to adhere to it. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take some chalk paint, because that just seems to stick to um, the plastic so much better than just regular acrylic. So I have some of this Waverly chalk paint. Um, I didn't have any brown, but I have this. It's called uh, Mineral. And I'm going to paint over top of it with this milk chocolate. I thought that's perfect for this little bunny. But this stuff does not paint good on this really smooth plastic. So I'm going to give it a coat of the chalk paint just to give it something to grab onto. And like I said, I will do most of this off camera because you guys know how to put paint on things. It's just that simple. But this stuff seems to go on much better, you know, onto the plastic than the regular paint. So I already did that one back here, down here on the bottom. And I actually did a scratch test, and it does scratch off if you scratch it really hard. Um, and if you have a brown spray paint, that would even be the best thing, but I don't have any, and I just want to get these done, and I don't feel like going out and buying anything else to finish these little guys. So anyway, I'm going to give this whole thing a coat of this front and back, and then after that dries, I'm going to take some of this milk chocolate and go over top of it, and I'll show you how this... Let me grab a brush here is going to look, and I did a little bit down here just for a test, and it's like the perfect color. So I'll probably put on two coats of this after that. Really simple, really easy. It's just a bunch of painting and waiting for it to dry. So that's what I am going to do with this guy here. So we're going to set him aside right here, and I'm going to try to get a head start on all these little projects I have going on. Um, I do want to put a pretty bow around her neck when I'm done, so I'm probably going to use some of this ribbon from Dollar Tree. And I'm not going to do too much else to it. I may put a little something to highlight the eyes and things, but I just want it to look like a chocolate bunny. So that's what we're going to do for that guy. Now for this carrot, what I want to do um, is... Hang on, let me close this up here before I forget to close it up. Clean up my paint. Until I can get back to that. But this guy here, I want to use some of this ribbon here that I got at Dollar Tree. Um, it's just an orange, like a um, burlap kind of ribbon. It's wired. And we're going to glue that on here. Now I cut these out in different sizes, and now I have them all mixed up. Um, 
and I'm just going to glue these down all the way down here down to the bottom glue down these strips just like that and I thought that would look really cool for the carrot and it kind of gives it you know like the ridges in a carrot or whatever so I thought that would be something different instead of just painting them because we've done that a lot painting these different things so I just cut different sizes we're just going to glue those down I got a little piece here somewhere that I cut just for the bottom there it is just to cover up that bottom piece but that's what I'm going to do for these and for this I'm just going to use some um, of the tacky glue you can get this at Dollar Tree too it's just the original tacky glue this one isn't open but we can fix that there we go and I like to do this with a brush too so we are just gonna brush this on I'm gonna have it hang over the edges that way after it dries and we can trim it nice so you don't have to worry about trying to cut it um, perfectly or anything so I'm going to use this brush here so I am just going to put a bunch of this glue on here and just paint that on you could probably do this with Mod Podge too but I figured I'd use some of this tacky glue I have a lot of this stuff here from the Dollar Tree oops that's not the right one um, and then the top of this I'm actually going to paint and then I'm going to use whoops that's not in the right spot get over there um, maybe this isn't the right one Oh yeah, that fits. Okay, so we get that to glue down. Actually, I may take some of the Mod Podge and go over this because it doesn't seem like it wants to stick to that very well. So maybe we will put some Mod Podge on here. Or I could just add a little more of that glue. We'll see. But I just want to get these things going here. It's just, our time is just flying by. Oh, I think that's going to stick fine if I stop moving it around. And um, I just don't have a lot of my things done that I wanted to get done. So I'm going to add a little more glue to this side here. And this glue dries clear, so I'm going to add it a little bit thicker this time. And just put down our next piece here. And I'm just going to keep going down like that. Just make sure these um, edges meet nice. Yeah, see, that's much better. I don't have enough glue on here is what the problem is on this first one. But this one, you can see the glue peeking through there a little bit. All right, so that's it for this. We're just going to keep doing that down here, and I think these will be really, really cool. And I bought some really pretty um, paper at Hobby Lobby a while ago. Um, that I want to use. Was it Hobby Lobby or Michaels? I don't remember which one. I'll have to see what brand it is when I turn it over here. But they had some really pretty Easter paper. Actually, I think it was Michaels when I went there when they had that sale. Um, they had some pretty paper. So on this one, for up here on this part of the carrot, I'm actually going to trace this out and use this, just for something a little bit different, um, instead of just painting them. So let me get this on here so this can dry. So I said, this are very easy to do. There's just a lot of drying time, just waiting time. So, you know, you do this at night, throw it on there, and then you get up the next day and you finish it up. That's the best way to do it. <coughs> so we are just going to paint that on there. Make sure I got it on the edges good. And we'll glue that one on. I think that'll stick fine. You need to just use a little bit more glue than what I did on that first one. I may have to go back over that one. But this should stick fine. Is this one sticking? No. See, I didn't put enough on there. But we'll let it dry and see what happens here. And then down here on the bottom, I'm just going to add a little bit more glue. Whoops, that's not together. Get up there. All right. And then I'm just going to have to sit and wait for this to dry. But I think this is going to look cute. Just something a little unexpected and whatever. But I think I got enough glue for this little piece on the bottom. All right, get up in there. There we go. So that is that. That's all we got to do is let that dry, and then we'll just go around the edges and cut that out. You could either use like an X-Acto knife or a scissor, whatever you want to get close there to... Um, to cut that out. All right, now let's see, is this going to stick? I do need to put more glue here. It is not. 
So you do need to put your glue on kind of thick for these. Alright, and I think I'm going to turn this over on my glass mat and set something on it until it dries. Just so it makes sure that these stay down nice. Alright, so we're going to set this one aside here now. And we're going to start on the next one. And we're just going to keep right on going while we're, we're waiting for things to dry. Alright, so that's going to dry. Now for this bunny here, it has these wood pieces. I already took them off and I'll show you how I did that. Um, it takes a few minutes to get these off. They don't come off super easy, but I took one of these little razor blades that they have. You can get these. I think they're like in a four pack or something at Dollar Tree. Um, or you could use something else if you have something else that you could stick under there. And then I just took my little heat gun here. I'm not going to do this on camera because it's really loud. Um, and I just heated it up and just kept going under it and just prying these little guys off. And it took a little bit, but it came off. This one split a little in the back. And you can see the glue there. But I did that, and I did the same thing with the little ears, and they came off. It took a little bit, a few minutes to, you know, heat up and carefully, you got to carefully pry it off and take your time so you don't split the wood. But it wasn't really that difficult. It just, like I said, it just took like a few minutes to do. So these I'm actually going to paint with this pink. Is this my favorite one? Yes, the prominent pink chalk paint. I love this color. So we're going to paint the ears and the tail that color. I know we're going all over the place here with these things, but I just want to get these all done today. All right, so let me get this paint here. All right, that's pretty good. And I'll do most of this off camera too because you guys know how to paint. I like to use one of these bigger brushes. It really doesn't matter. Um, I'm just going to take some of the pink paint, and I'm just, I love this color. Look how pretty this pink is. It's such a pretty, pretty color. And I think I'm going to go around the edges with some white, too, afterwards, just to, oh, this brush is coming apart. Um, after it's all done here, just to highlight the edges a little bit, I think I might just go around with it with just, like, a little bit of white just on the edges. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to give this one coat of this pink, because I don't want it to be really dark. Give me some hot glue here. I need to fix this brush. I tend to leave my brushes soaking for too long, and that's what ends up happening. All right, so we're just going to do these ears here. I'm not even going to dump this paint out because I don't need that much. And I'm going to leave the sides that brown color. And then I'll show you what I'm going to use for the main part of the bunny body. brush does not fit in here. There we go. Let's paint these up real quick. There we go. There's one ear done. And let's get ear number two. I might have enough in the lid for this. Alright. Those are done. So that is all I'm going to do for the ears. I don't have any more pink paint on my fingers. Now, for the bunny's body, I want to use this pretty paper that I got. I did get this at Michael's. Yes, I did. The paper studio. I'm going to use this pretty paper. It's just all Easter eggs. I had no idea what I was going to use this for. I just picked one up at Michael's um, just because I thought it was really cool. And I'm just going to flip it over so you're on the back side of it. And I already traced this out. All I did was just lay the bunny down here like that and just trace around it with a pen. And then we're just going to cut that out, and I will do that off camera too to save some time. I'm just going to take this pair of scissors and just cut this out, and then we're going to go ahead and glue that on there, and then replace our little wood pieces, and I think that'll look really cute. Maybe a bow around the neck. We'll see what it looks like when it's done. So as soon as all this stuff dries here, I'm going to, while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to cut this out and wait for our glue to dry and our paint to dry, and then we'll come back and work on these some more. Alright, I got everything painted here and it's drying. Um, this is getting pretty much dry here. This is my chocolate bunny here. I put three coats on here. It can probably use another one, but I think I'm going to quit at that. And then I took a little bit of white chalk paint just to highlight his eyes. And then I'm going to use some um, 
Oh, these little gems I got it. I got these at Michael's on sale after graduation a couple of years ago. Um, they're just those clear uh, stickers, you know, gem stickers, and I painted them black and put a little white dot on two of them, and I'm going to use that for the eyes because I just didn't have anything the right size. And as far as me trying to paint a little eye, I don't think my hands will do it. So, but if you're good at painting, you can just go ahead and paint that on there. And I would advise, if you can find some nice brown spray paint, that would be the way to go. And better yet, if you could find one of these in browns, would be perfect. But I have not seen any of these in a brown color. So that's why I want to make my own chocolate. <laughs> Alright, so now for our bunny here, we're going to glue all that on. Got that all cut out. And now on this little tail here, I just took a little brush with some white and just went around the edges like this, just to give it a little more something to it. So we got to get this paper glued on here. Now I don't think I'm going to be hanging this one back up, so I may not even punch that hole back. I may just lean him like up on a shelf, um, but if you want to hang it, you're going to have to poke the hole back into it after you're done gluing your material on. So all I'm going to do to do this is take some Mod Podge. I'm going to use that this time because I think that's going to work better than the other glue that I tried. That was kind of a pain. Stick with what you know. Alright, so I'm going to turn this up here. I'm going to start with the ears and make sure I get those on nice and even here. So we'll start there and work our way down. Alright, so let's get this little guy in here the right way. Try to get those ears matched up nice and everything. And I think that will do it. Yeah, so I'm just going to push those down. And there we go. And that's how cute that's going to look. I think this is just going to be so fun. I'm not going to like add eyes or anything to this. I'm just going to put these pieces back on. And then we're going to put some pretty ribbon. And that is pretty much it for this guy. I just wanted something different. You know, I've painted these, you know, pretty colors and painted the little faces back on and everything. But I thought it would be fun just to use some of this colored paper. And um, you just want to make sure you get the edges real good. Fun to use some colored paper. Just something a little bit different this time. All right. So let's get this part down. Here we go. This is really nice paper, too. All right. I just need to get back here. This is really easy to do. Let's just trace it, glue it, you're done. And then you can, you know, add whatever embellishments, I don't know what I got stuck on here, um, that you want to. There, and that is that. So now we just got to wait for this guy to dry. Make sure I got all the bubbles out. I went on really simple. Perfect. I'll have to get my little brayer out maybe and roll that down. There's a little bubble there. Nope, it came right out. All right. So there we go. That went on very easy. And I think he'll look really cute just sitting up on a shelf. All right, so let me put him aside here. We're going to let that paper dry a little bit before we glue on these pieces. So while that is drying over here, we can grab our carrot bag. Now for our carrot, what I did was I took... Um, I want to do my other brush. Here it is. I took some of this apple barrel. It's called lemonade. Um, I love this color for spring. And I just took, you know, just a small brush and just went down in between, you know, here and just painted the outsides of that with that lime green color. I thought that was really pretty. And then I cut this all out. Now, if you want to get really close with your edges, sometimes they'll fray a little bit. If you just hold up, like, even if you have a candle to use, and just go along the edges with the flame, it'll pretty much seal those edges so they're not going to fray anymore and take off any little edges you don't want. You don't want to hold it there too long. Just kind of run it across the edge like so. And that pretty much takes care of your edges. But I just cut around it with a scissor. And then you can paint the back, too, if you want to, um, to finish that off nice. Now, for this part up here, I want to cover with some more of this pretty paper. I want to use this one here. So all I did to do this, to cut out a pattern, was I just put it right on top of it here, like this. 
and to just rub along the edges. And I'll show you here after I do this how easy this is to see and to make your... Because getting these off is really kind of a bugger to heat up and get all those off. But, but after you just run your finger along the edge of all those things under here, you come out and hope you can see that it has a nice little pattern. And then all you have to do is just cut that out. It's really simple. It makes a nice line in there when you push down on it. And I already went ahead. I cut one out here that's going to go on here. And I just thought this would be fun to add some of this paper to this guy. Now this one's a little harder to get back on here, right? Let's see. Do we have it here? All right. I think that will be good right there. And then I'm just going to paint on some more Mod Podge on here. Get this started. Didn't need it down there. Glue that down there. Make sure this is all lined up now before it dries. it for this guy. The only thing you have to do with this guy is put his little hangers back in here. Um, where did I put them? So this it. Here it is. This is the one that was on here. This has these little clips that just slip right through. And um, I'll just go right through the back here like this. And then just kind of pull that open and give it a tug and it keep, keeps it in there real nice. So we're going to put that back on here. Now you can put this on the back too if you wanted to, but I don't like seeing those little plastic things in the front. So we are just going to hang this one just like this, and then it'll hang up really nice. All right, so that is all I'm doing for this guy here. I think that's cute. Something different. I don't know if this is the right one for here or not. I don't, it couldn't have been this one. No, it had to have been this one. I do think they had them coming through the other side. I really don't want those plastic things in the front. But I think that'll look fine hanging like that. So that guy is done. All right, so let's work on our little chocolate bunny here. And then we'll take a nice picture of all these at the end here when they're all finished. Now for this guy, I want to put a bow on here. I think I'm going to do that first before I even mess with his eyes and things. I'm just going to take a piece of this ribbon here and glue it because I don't want to... Uh, scratch this thing too much because I'm afraid I might scratch the paint. So I don't want to be like yanking a bow around his neck here. So I think I'm just going to glue this on here. Probably should have a finger protector. Here we go. And I'm just going to add a little hot glue here. Push this ribbon down on it. Hug that around and cut it. These scissors are shot. I've cut too many things with those scissors. All right, so I'm going to cut that a little bit more. Where are my other scissors? Eh, that's good. All right, so, all right, that's good right there. So we just want to glue this onto here. And then our bow is going to go right on the front here. Or you could put it on the side or however you want it. I think I'm just going to have it hanging down here in the front. Um, let's see. All right, so I'm going to take two of these ribbons. I got both of these at Dollar Tree. There's a couple, a little bit different. And I figured I will just put two pieces together and try to make a nice bow here. Just fold it up over your thumb. And that usually keeps everything going in the right direction here. If I can get a hold of both of these at the same time. Come on. There we go. Oh, that looks pretty good. Alright, so I think I just cut these off. 
And I'm using my crappy scissors again. Get them out of here for now because they are not cutting very nice. And I really wanted to angle the bottom of these ribbons here. And you can make your bow as big or small as you want to. Whatever colors you choose. I just thought the pinks would look really cute on here with the check. Alright, so we're just going to hot glue that onto our bunny. Oops, get back over there where you belong. Oh, I think that's cute. I don't know if I want to add any pink to the nose. I was going to add pink to the nose, but I thought, you know what, he's chocolate bunny. I don't really want to add too much more color to him. It's kind of going to take away from that. Alright, now all I need to do is take these little um, gem stickers here. And these are self-adhesive, but I think I'm going to put a little bit of glue on here just in case. And I have glue all over me again. Come on, webs. Go away. All right. Just a little dot of glue on the back of it. It kind of looks like those candies that, you know, those hard candies they have on here on the chocolate bunnies that you pull off and are real crunchy and sweet. I don't really care for them that much, but <laughs> that's what it reminds me of. It's those. And then hopefully I can get his eyes looking in the same direction. That would be great. Ooh. Come on, I don't want you to look crazy. Oops, I got some glue on there. There. All right. So they're pretty much going the same way. <laughs> He's really cute. I like him. So that is my chocolate bunny. I'm not going to do another thing to him because I want him to just be a chocolate bunny. I mean, you could add as much as you wanted to this. Um, you could really doll him up if you wanted to or paint him any color if you want to. But I just want a little chocolate rabbit to kind of sit behind my other little decorations that I have. Alright, so that is it for him and for the carrots. Now we just got to finish up this bunny here. Hopefully this is good enough to work with. So I think I'm just going to hot glue these back on. Let me see which ones fit, because now I kind of have him backwards from where he was. Nope. There we go. We'll do it this way. Alright. So we're going to glue this here back on. A little hot glue. There we go. There's that one. And this one, you just need to put a strip of glue down the center. It doesn't take much to hold these back on here. Alright. And there's that one back on. And then we're going to put on his little tail. And that goes right about here. bunny tail. And now for this guy, I am just going to, I mean, you could add eyes or something if you wanted to, too. But I am just going to put on some sheer pink ribbon on this guy. Um, and I think, again, I'm just going to double this up. I think I'll do the same thing. It's just easier for me to try to get this on here. So we're just going to glue a piece of this ribbon down. protector because it's going to go right through this ribbon. And one big bow right here on the side of this guy. So we'll pull that over and then just glue this down here. But if you can pull it around there and make a nice bow, you don't have to go through this step whatsoever, but I just find it easier to get it nice and straight and have it lay flat. Um, so when you're twisting it'll your bow, it won't mess up that. Alright, so now I think I want to do three. Um, let's see if I can even do three. Alright, we're going to cut this here and see what happens. So I'm just going to make three long things. These are probably about, like, uh, probably about 15 inches. And then I'm going to try, 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 try to make a bow with all three of these. So we're going to start here. 
See how good my fingers want to work this morning. And then wrap that around and tuck all three of those in there. Alright, well that worked out easier than I expected. <laughs> Alright, get a hold of all three of them there. This one, okay. There we go. All right. And now I'm just going to angle all of these. And then I'll just pull these apart. Get them apart, then you give it a nice little tug, and it should stay. Or it has in the past. I don't know why this one's twisted on me. There it is. It's giving me a hard time. All right, let me get these apart here again and then get this glue down before they want to go back together on me. All right, so I think that will look just pretty right there. Just like, oh, I need glue. Oi! Oi, oi, oi. Whoa, I didn't need that much glue. That really came out fast. Well, we're just going to cover that glue mess up. And there, and that is that for the little bow. I'm just going to straighten him out a little more. Uh, maybe that wants to go this way. All right. Well, I'll mess with that once this cool dry. Uh, this glue cools off. Um, it's kind of twisted. But anyway, there's the idea. I just got to straighten that side of this bow out. I got way too much glue on there, but I think that's really. Just for a little added decoration, just something different and unexpected. So I'm going to clean this mess up here, guys, and set all these up so you can get a good look at them here without all this mess in the background. And I will be right back. All right, guys, there they all are just sitting there together. Um, I'm going to put my little chocolate bunny, I think, by my little floral arrangement that I made in the basket a couple weeks ago. I think he'll look real cute sticking out from behind there and I'm gonna hang up my little carrot somewhere I'm not sure where yet but I love that and my little bunny is just gonna go up on a shelf but I think they all turned out really really cute so thanks so much for watching everybody I hope you enjoyed these three little quick and easy projects and I will see you guys all next time have a great day everyone